Hello together. In today's video, I show you a class with which you can generate a QR code in ABAP. QR stands for Quick Response. We print QR codes on PDF documents that we generate in Fiori and offer for download. With the QR code, you can then jump directly to the Fiori app for the respective process. But now to the generation. First, we need two variables, one variable for the QR code, LV QR code of type X string. Second, a variable with the link, LV QR code link type string. Next, we pass a link here, lvqr code underscore link is, and here I type the address of my YouTube channel, https colon slash slash youtube.com slash add cast and code. Next, we generate the QR code, and for this, we need a class. Click here on up, up object pattern. Here, we paste the class CLRSTX barcode renderer, and we need the method QR code. Then we have a try and catch block. We uncommand try and we copy the catch block at the end uh, of our program after the download code. So here we have some parameters. First, the module size. This is the, the size of the little squares. I type here 30 and these are pixels. Uh, the other parameters, uh, we can leave this parameter default. Here we pass the YouTube link, the link, uh, the variable with the link. So LV QR code link and importing is the X string of the QR code. LV QR code. So to check or to display the QR code, uh, we download it. And for this, we have to convert the X string to a Solix tab. And here I pass the variable with the QR code, LV QR code. For the GUI download, we need a file name, QR code dot JPEG, and the file size is X string length of the variable LV QR code. And the data tab is the raw data uh, what we uh, converted above. So next pretty printer and we activate the code and let's run the program and we see a file is downloaded. So let's open the Windows Explorer and we see here the QR code with a double click we see the QR code. So uh, yes, we can uh, print this QR code on PDFs or we can send it by email. Next, let's change some parameters. For example, the error correction. So let's double click on the method and we see the default value of the error correction is H and H means 30% and L means 
and M and Q is something between. So let's uh, generate a QR code with a lower error correction, for example, 7%. So I type here L and I activate the code again and then run the program. Uh, okay, now I have overwritten my first file. So let's change the file name to L, generate and run the code. And next, let's uh, change the error correction back to H. It's the default value and we change the file name to H and we run the code again. Now we have downloaded two QR codes and we see on the left side here the QR code with the error correction uh, of 30% and on the right side the QR code with the error correction of 7%. Yes. Uh, and the, the module size 30, these, uh, this is the size of the little squares in it. And you see the, the difference between the two QR codes on the left side, error correction 30%, right error correction 7%. Yes, that was the small example. If you want to support me and my work, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I would be happy if you click back on my next video. Thank you and see you soon.